Beneath the stars, my ten guitars will play this song for you. So if you with the one you love. It was just a thing about him that was show business through and through. Let me put it this way. I said they'd gone on the stage and said, I've got laryngitis, I can't sing. They would have stood up and applauded them for being there. You know what I mean? We, we did a royal show and um, uh, I, I was in the same dressing room as Sydney and Sydney had a bar set up there. And he said, come on, you start. So we started on the whiskey. And by the time that we came to meet the Queen, I don't know where I was. I was so smashed out of my head. I always used to do a little bit about um, him in the act. I used to say, ladies and gentlemen, it's the King. And I turned around and it went da, 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 da. And then I turned around and I go, tiny bubble. But I've come across a lot of entertainers, obviously, in this business, but nobody like Sidney Devine knew his audience, knew exactly what they wanted, gave them what they wanted, uh, treated everybody the same, um, and went home and job done. He would come in and speak to everybody. If, if there was a new member on stage, if there was a, a new cleaner, he, he would take time to introduce himself, talk to them, ask them what their job was. He would go to the box office every time, he'd come in and say, hi girls, how are you getting on, blah, blah, blah. And he just, he just, he, he was just great like that. You know, there was, as I say, there was no airs and graces. He just, he, he treated everybody the same.